everybody, it is Bubs. So, summer is here. Well, for most of us, except the people from Down Under and Antarctica. So I hope summer has been good for you guys so far. And you know, June is really flying in. I figured today I'm gonna make a video on a summer survival kit. In this box, we have our summer survival kit, which is going to save your ass. Well, it's not gonna save your ass. It's gonna be handy though. Let's open this box. I'm trying to make this more <laughs> interesting than it really is. Mm. First beauty survival product. We have oil blotting sheets. Now blotting sheets is not something that I recommend uh, you guys really, really rely on. You know, I think blotting sheets should only be uh, used when you really, really, really need it. Obviously in summer, skin gets oilier than usual. Mm -mm. And sometimes it just feels as if you can fry chips on your face because it, it just gets so greasy, you know, and then you end up looking like a grease ball. If I were to choose between applying blotting powder and using blotting sheets, then I would definitely go for blotting sheets. All you need to do is just press onto your face. Right now, it's actually not too bad, but you know when I'm outdoor, this gets drenched and it's gross. So body sheets definitely come in very, very handy to remove the excess oil and you know, this one doesn't clog pores. Now, next product is tissues. I don't know which is worse, you know, having an oily face or, or a sweaty face. I'm more of a sweater. Yesterday I met some subbies. I was talking to them for like 15 minutes and afterwards, you know, I was like, okay, bye. And I was walking home and then I went like this and like my entire upper lip was drenched wet and I can actually flick my fingers and like you can see droplets flying out. It's so embarrassing, especially if you don't want to use blotting sheets. Using tissues is completely fine. If not, actually, I would recommend you to use tissues instead. There are countless times where I'm sitting in a bus on a hot summer day and some people just don't use deodorant. Some the tissues have saved my life many, many times because I can just smell it. Actually, one time there was a kid and I'm pretty sure he crapped himself on the bus. This is my face conditioning cream and it's from Etihad's. And it's basically a 3-in-1. Obviously, it's very, very important to moisturize your face, okay? It's also very important to protect your face from the sun. I know far too many girls that just did not wear sunscreen because they thought they didn't need it. It didn't look sunny out there. And now they regret it because they have freckles all over their face. And like I always say, you know, freckles are cute. You know, I have a few freckles already. However, freckles is also a sign that your skin is weakening, okay? It's very handy when you can use a product that's a moisturizer and also your SPF and also works as a primer as well. A primer is good in many ways because it makes your makeup look better on the skin. Um, it also makes your makeup last longer so it doesn't slip and slide off as much. So instead of applying three products, it's just really handy to have one. I know a lot of you guys are comfortable using your own moisturizer. I recommend you guys to use a makeup primer that contains SPF so you kill two birds with one stone. I don't like that saying, you know. Why do you have to kill birds in the first place? This is a Mega Forever um, Daily Protective Primer and it has SPF 50. I know how it is to wake up and you know, your skin already feels suffocated already from the heat. You know, never mind putting on makeup on top of that. And you know, even with uh, a tinted moisturizer or a BB cream, it just you know, wet on wet just doesn't feel very comfortable. What I really, really want is something that keeps me dry. I would recommend um, foundation-wise to use powder foundation or then bit bigger than BB uh, liquid to powder cream. So I'll start with the powder foundation first. So if your skin gets really, really oily, then really recommend you guys to try powder foundation because unlike liquid and cream foundation powder foundation just stays a lot longer and just keeps you drier longer as well so like i said before you can try this product so when it's rubbed and um, absorbed into the skin it actually dries to a powder finish so it's handy in a way because you do not need to stay with powder afterwards it feels light it's got spf 35 we have big ass bobby pins. They're not called big ass bobby pins, by the way. <laughs> I personally like to use bobby pins that are big, as you can see, because I just think it's pointless to have like, you know, 
I don't know, 20 bobby pins to, to put your hair in a bun and you know, especially if you lose them all the time. But with these ones, you know, I really feel like you don't need a lot of bobby pins. You know, actually I could just use one bobby pin for like, you know, a month. Sometimes when I'm out and I just want to put my hair in a bun, I can just, you know, hmm, la la la. Uh, like this. One pin is enough. And you just poke it in. And you know, it feels sturdy, it feels comfortable. You know, you do not need a lot of bobby pins. I really, really can't stand it when I'm outdoors and I, my, I just feel suffocated from my hair and my neck and my hair is all stuck down my back and it's all sweaty. But you know what, the minute my hair is up in a ponytail or a bun, it just feels so breezy and I hate asking people to borrow their, um, their hair bands and stuff. So it's so handy, just always carry one with you in your wrist. Aircon really dries out the skin. My shins are mega dry, my arms are dry, so um, I have to use body lotion. And this one is good because it smells great, it smells like um, aloe vera, it contains SPF 24, it doesn't get sticky, it feels lightweight and it just makes you feel nice and fresh. So I like to put this in my fridge and when I put it on it just feels really bliss, it just feels nice and soothing. So speaking of aircon, of course it dries out your skin, also dries out the lips. My lips are disgusting these days. So before I go to bed I like to apply a layer on my lips. And throughout the day, I just, you know, I keep applying it, I bring it with me. And it's even better if your lip balm contains SPF because your lips also need protection as well. Sometimes, you know, because it's so hot, you just can't be bothered to just splash on so much, you know, the eyeshadows and then more eyeshadows and then eyeliner and everything. So I have really been loving just wearing um, colored eyeliner and especially with long wearing um, eyeliner pencils. It makes a big difference when you just apply a little bit of teal blue on your lower lash line or, you know, a little bit of mint or even if you want to apply it in your upper lash line, you know, a purple also looks really cute. So these are from Shri Oimura. Spot the difference! So I have swatched my hands with the eyeliner and you can see it just doesn't come off. It's, you know, you can you can rub all you like and it won't smear as smudge. You don't have to just use it like eyeliner. You can apply like eyeshadow, you know, all you need to do is just use your finger and just blend it out and it's gonna have like crazy staying part. I don't think you guys need me to tell you guys that a good waterproof uh, mascara really is in order and one of my favorites is the Fairy Dross Mascara. Um, yeah, sometimes it feels like you need a jackhammer to remove this but it's so good. And I actually watched a video from Beauty QQ and uh, she actually uses waterproof mascara. She dips her brush into and lines her upper lash line and that's such a good idea. Since you're more likely to be washing your hair more often because it just it just feels gross at the end of the day, then you know you have to take care of it. So, you, you know, I love my essential damage care hair mask. You can use any one. This is one of my favorites because it's affordable, it smells great, and just works amazingly well. And um, if you don't have time for a hair mask, then even applying argan oil is great. Um, after my hair is dry, I just run a little bit of this in my hair, and it really hydrates my hair and makes it glossy and smooth. So obviously in summer, obviously I think it's fun to experiment with color. Um, if you don't want to put the color in your eyes, then I really recommend you to like experiment with your lips. So the three colors I recommend you guys to go for is you know a good pink color, or a fun tiny orange, or a bright peach color. You're gonna put the peachy one on. This one is a vivid pop stick from Etta House. I know oily skin comes with a lot of problems. You know, when your skin's oily, your pores look bigger. When your skin is clogged in oil, your pores stretch and acne comes and everything. So it could be such a bummer. So I really do recommend you to get a clay mask. Now there's a lot of great clay masks in the market and they all do the same thing. You know, they extract all the dirt and all the excess oil and everything. Uh, but this one is just a beauty one because it's so inexpensive and it works amazingly well. And every time I cleanse this mask from my skin, I can just see how much tighter my pores look after using this. And this actually uh, dries up pimples, rinses away blackheads, and shrinks in large pores. And I think this is the ultimate summer mask to have. I hope you guys find this video helpful. Thank you guys so much for watching and I shall see you very, very soon. If you haven't already, remember to subscribe to my vlog channel for daily doses of happiness.